Hello everyone, this is DJ Nitty Darkfold. Welcome to another episode of Nitty's Notables. What? Unfortunately, you don't get to see my voice. You don't only you don't get to see my face. Oh, well, not live anyway. <laughs> so, um, this is a special edition of my uh, vlog series. Um, and doing this new thing where I introduce some friends of mine. This is setting Chetting Fake Smiles X. A bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so she's joining us today at, uh, as my special guest, and um, we're going to talk about the Sims community and voice acting and what we do and don't like about it. And, you know, you may or may not, uh, you know, agree with our opinions, but it's our own opinions. So hopefully no drama will unfold. <laughs> Yeah, no drama. <laughs> no drama. We not we're not saying this to cause drama. Well, yeah. I'm not. Nettie it totally is. <laughs> no, I am not. Shut up. <laughs> Kidding. I know, I know, I know. So we start off by introducing ourselves. I'm Nettie, and of course everybody knows me. Uh, duh. <laughs> Duh. Not everybody knows me. But... When I walk down the street, people just stop and stare. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this is Gianna. Shedding Hello. Fake X. Shedding Fake Smiles X on YouTube. And, Check um, me out. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, when we met, let me say the story about when we met. Okay. I knew Gianna way before she ever knew me. I followed her series for a long time. And um, I loved her all the little, little things series. I watched it, oh. and uh, she had an audition for uh, a new a character, and I tried to audition for it. I uh, said I didn't get it, but that's Sorry. okay. <laughs> awkward <laughs> moment. <laughs> awkward moment, but that's okay, right? What's done is done. And months passed, and she contacted me on YouTube privately and asked me to voice act for a series that she was working on as a main character. And I'm in the series called These Four Walls with her that she created. And we've developed a really, really fast friendship ever since then. And uh, we're like we're awesome. besties. We're like besties now because we're broad Canadian. Awesome. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, we are best, really close friends. We're and, good friends. And uh, we decided to do this. And she loves my Nitty's Notables episodes. I do. I watch them. <laughs> Most of the views are mine. <laughs> so be playing that button. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. So we're going to talk about the YouTube community and the Sims community and the um, voice acting and different things along those lines. Mm -hmm. so let me start with Gianna. Um, I guess we can talk about, um, well, for, first of all, my name is Gianna. I'm Shining Peace Miles Act on YouTube. Um, I'm a director mostly, but I have a bit of experience in voice acting. I used to uh, voice act for Vintage Level 11, her series Wasteland, while that was a voiceover series. Um, but yeah, I don't have much experience voice acting, so you have to forgive me on that. Um, but yeah, I can kind of give you more of a director's point of view, I think. And I give you the voice acting point yeah. of view. Yeah, and we'll <laughs> argue it out to the death. But the thing yeah. is, I... Uh, not the best voice actor in the world. I mean, I'm sure there's like lots of better voice actresses in the world and stuff besides me. But you know, I have a unique sounding voice because I'm mature and older than a lot of the Sims uh, voice actors out there in the U in YouTube world. And I'm saying all, I'm saying a lot. I know some people who are like are closer to my age as well who are voice actors. But the yeah, the majority is probably, like, teenage, like, young teenage. Girls. Girls. Oh, yes, girls. The majority of, like, when I do auditions, the majority of them are female. Obviously, I think everyone knows that. But, like, <laughs> the percentage is probably, like, 99% <laughs> girls and, like, one dude. Yeah, one That's dude. usually what happens. But the thing is, the dudes are getting up there. They're up they like, are. New, there are new dudes coming up. And, new you know, dude. I have some of my favorites that became my friends and... Oh, yeah. I'm There's totally a lot of Newfoundland like right now. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're both from Canada, but she talks funny. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding, I'm totally joking. <laughs> it's okay. I still love you. <laughs> God, I love you. <laughs> but anyway, 
Yeah, so we talked about that, and I had been voice acting about two years, and I got very typecast. Extremely typecast. I would say so, mothers. yes. <laughs> as mothers. I get to play mothers all the time. Is this other mothers? Or an evil villain? Oh, like... Evil villain. <laughs> I think that says something about you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> evil bone in my body so i've heard people say i'm totally I'm joking she's boy. one of the sweetest people ever <laughs> aw thank you but um <laughs> so basically yeah like a lot of people like i get typecast a lot as um like blonde people and then people talk to me in like real life not real life but like yes real life but um on skype or something and they see my photo and they're like you're asian what <laughs> so it's like really weird when you play a type of character for like i guess for a few series and then they kind of believe that that's who you are because yeah, i guess yeah. i have a really bubbly voice when i was younger so i got like typecast as that or like the child i was always like the kid so my so my work is in right now is um currently i play miss primrose in the hundreds um i play um colleen in uh the college experience um Gianna, do I, I'm in, uh, uh, was in uh, These Four Walls with Gianna. Yes, and Reno. And Reno. Reno was uh, <laughs> And uh, we both were in that, and that was an experience I'll that never was forget. Fun. That was I fun. Loved... That was short, too, though. I know. Short and sweet. <laughs> Just get it done. <laughs> I wish it was longer. <laughs> mm hmm But, hey, what can you do? Um, okay. I have a confession to make. I cannot stand casting calls. Those directors out there to put casting calls out. I it's like I I look at them and I'm thinking to myself, should I audition or should I not? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people have that reaction to them. Exactly, but the thing is, I look at them and say, okay, this is like uh, an award show. And all these nominations are like uh, the characters are like nominations of these certain awards you get, and um, whoever gets that award is the one who gets the cast gets the mm -hmm. credit for the uh, character. And majority of the time that I've noticed since I started voice acting, a lot of the same voice actors get the same roles or get the same kind of main leads. So Which we're not saying it's not their fault at all because no, it's, it's not, not in their control. Like no, definitely not. It's not the. It's just the fact that a lot of the voice actors. I mean, obviously, I uh, want a uh, better than me, or two. Um, my voice doesn't fit a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. But that's also a testament to the kind of characters being created. That most of the series are kind of following the same plot lines, and they kind of. I find most of the characters, there's no one really over 20. Or if they are 20, they're like a younger voice that exactly. are supposed to essentially play 20 years old, which isn't realistic. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, uh, I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but I'm approaching 40. Uh, <laughs> I'll be 40 Ooh, next still year. beautiful. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it or anything like that. I'm just, you know, I'm one of the more mature uh, voices in this impunity and I get a lot of personal requests uh, via YouTube that uh, ask me to play uh, certain roles they ask me to play mothers they've asked me to play this they asked me to play that and they asked me to audition and I'm like I look at their casting call and stuff and I'm like sometimes I like it sometimes I don't it depends on the um, the plot line and whether it interests me or not. And um, I'm not saying anything's bad with casting calls. I mean, for those who do it, that's fine. It's whatever you guys want to do. Um, but what I'm saying to directors, um, put more adults in your series. <laughs> put more adults, because Nettie says so, guys. Okay. Um, okay. I'm joking, no, but, but yeah. Dude. Um... But I would say to characters the characters are adults, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I would say about cast and calls too is don't, uh, which I found via personal experience, kind of what I observe in the community is a lot of people 
um, ask people to audition to their casting call. And, like, it's okay to ask and stuff, but if you kind of, like, hint that you're going to get a role and then you audition and then you don't get a role, that's kind of just really stupid. Sorry. <laughs> but, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you want someone to audition, like, for a part and you're kind of pushing them to audition, you're like, oh, you're going to get a role, don't worry. Like, you know what I mean? Like, or if you have no interest in casting them at all, don't ask them to audition. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just common sense, guys. Okay. Like, come on. <laughs> work with me here Don't get me started <laughs> i'm kidding so yeah i know i'm a fury of rage at five foot four yeah like i can beat you up <laughs> that escalated really yeah, quickly okay <laughs> oh yeah i could totally take you no, okay 